Hello, my name is Alan Soriano. I'm a field applications engineer with ST Microelectronics in the America region. Today I'll be covering the TSC 2011, a high voltage precision bidirectional current sense amplifier. I'll discuss the key features, a list of potential applications, then briefly discuss the block diagram and connection pads. I'll also highlight the bidirectional currents of each phase flowing through the 10 milliohm sense resistor of the TSC 2011's evaluation board, the STEVAL AET KT1B1. This evaluation board will be coupled to another evaluation board, the STEVAL SPIN3201, an advanced brushless DC controller with an embedded STM32 microcontroller. I will not be discussing the STEVAL SPIN3201 in any detail during this video. However, detailed information is available on the ST Microelectronics website. The key features of the TSC 2011 include the following. The bidirectional current sense amplifier senses the current flow through a sense resistor, also called a shunt resistor, which is located between the inverting and non-inverting inputs. The difference voltage is amplified and presented at the output. The supply voltage range is from ground to voltage levels between 2.7 volts and 5.5 volts. The TSC 2011 is designed to provide a wide input common mode voltage range from minus 20 volts to 70 volts, well beyond the aforementioned supply voltage range. In particular, this feature enables reverse polarity protection for batteries. The embedded first order low pass EMI filters at the input terminals are included to minimize the effects of changing input offset voltage. The device has a fixed gain of 60, a gain error of 0.3%, and guaranteed not to drift more than 5 microvolts per degree Celsius. Its offset voltage is plus or minus 200 microvolts maximum and guaranteed not to drift more than 5 microvolts per degree Celsius. The amplifier bandwidth is 600 kilohertz. Its operating temperature range is minus 40 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius, and the device includes an active low shutdown pin. Some applications include the following, high side current sensing, which is a common application, low side current sensing. This, this is a common application as well, but some limitation exists. It also has been used in data acquisition, instrumentation, test, and measurement equipment. It also has been used in industrial process motor and solenoid control. Some of the key aspects of the block diagram with respect to the EMI filter, current sense amplifiers are commonly subjected to changing input offset voltages caused by electromagnetic interference. The EMI filter minimizes susceptibility to this phenomena. The TSC 2011 enters a low power shutdown mode when the shutdown pin is pulled high between 0.7 of VCC to VCC. Again, this is an active low current sense amplifier. Connecting the voltage reference one and voltage reference two to do VCC, ground, and or combination will set the unidirectional or bidirectional current flow configuration. More discussions on settings to follow. Firstly, on this slide, I'd like to point out the correct evaluation board is as noted, the STEVAL AET KT1 V1. The original identifier is no longer valid, but legacy boards are still around with the incorrect name. The evaluation board is actually a main board that features the TSC 2011, but it can accommodate two other daughter boards with current sense amplifiers to allow for testing and evaluation of different gain configurations such as the TSC 2010, which has a gain of 20, and the TSC 2012 with a gain of 100. Selecting a sense resistor is a trade-off between dynamic range and power dissipation. In high current application, the smallest value reduces power loss. With low current applications, a high value sense resistor minimizes the impact of the amplifier input offset voltage. Minimizing power dissipation is the priority when selecting the smallest value sense resistor appropriate for the application. 
For a comprehensive calculation of the sense resistor, please read section 5.4 on page 26 of the data sheet. The key to selecting an appropriate sense resistor is to maximize the current dynamic range but minimize the power dissipation. The balance between these two competing priorities depends on the application and is for the hardware designer to decide the balance. There are four operating configurations as described in the table. More details are on the next slide. As mentioned in the last slide, there are four TSC 2011 configurations that can be set. When voltage reference one and voltage reference two are connected to ground, current is unidirectional. It enters the non-inverting terminal through the sense resistor and onto the inverting terminal. The output common mode will be ground. Next, when voltage reference one and voltage reference two are connected to VCC, current is also unidirectional, but opposite of the previous current flow, entering the inverting terminal through the sense resistor and onto the non-inverting terminal. The output common mode will be VCC and the output will be inverted. In the case of the voltage reference one connected to VCC and voltage reference two connected to ground, current is bidirectional as with alternating current. The output mode will be set to half of VCC. Finally, voltage reference one and voltage reference two are connected to an external vo reference voltage. This setup, like the previous one, can track bidirectional current. The output common mode will be set to the external reference voltage. In this slide, we have the TSC 2011 in practical examples, measuring current in six different locations, two measurements in each of the three phases of the VLDC motor. With each of the three high side current sense amplifiers, the current flowing from the motor power supply through the shunt resistors and into the drain of the end channel MOSFETs are measured via the voltage drops across the shunt resistors placed between the input terminals. Since the current is flowing into the negative terminal, and in one direction only. The TSC 2011 is configured with voltage reference one and voltage reference two connected to VCC. To measure the bidirectional inline current of the three phase motor driver circuit, a shunt resistor must be placed between the half bridge switch node and the corresponding motor phase. In this application, the ability to cope with fast transients and offer a high common mode fits within the capabilities of the TSC 2011. The configuration of this application means voltage reference one is connected to VCC, voltage reference two is connected to ground, and the output mode will be half of VCC. In many applications, the 2011 and shunt resistor is often implemented between the source of an end channel MOSFET and to ground in a low side configuration. Sometimes, however, when a ground connects to a system chassis, Another option, such as a low voltage operational amplifier, merits consideration due to the additional ground currents that could exceed the TSC 2011's limits, such as in automotive and industrial applications. In this practical application of a brushless three phase motor, the TSC 2011 could have been utilized as well. Please see the recently available application note 5423 Current Sensing in VLDC Motor Application which is available on ST's website. This motor control application consists of three TSC 2011 current sense amplifier evaluation boards, an advanced brushless DC controller with an embedded STM32 microcontroller evaluation board, and an Anaheim automation induction motor. In addition to the hardware, there are GUI software, firmware, and an updated version of Java that is required to operate this motor control application, which are all listed here. All are available without charge, but the IAR embedded workbench has a time limit. The brushless four pair poles, three phase induction motors available through Anaheim Automation and their website and model are listed here. Setting up and running a BLDC motor will require information such as the motor parameters, startup parameters, current sensing parameters and additional advanced detailed parameters. It may take some time and effort to become operational. Here is a fully operational demonstration. To the left, the laptop shows the ST motor control workbench GUI, which contains several gauges displaying the motor shaft revolutions per minute, final ramp speed, heatsink temperature, motor power, and bus voltage. The GUI also displays variables such as PWM frequency, sensor selection, torque and flux, 
and other operational information. The display on the right contains the Bridgeless DC Evaluation Board, the three TSC 2011 Evaluation Boards, and the connected motor, which spins a pin. The oscilloscope screen shows the inline bidirectional current in each of the three phases, which are 120 degrees apart. The TSC 2011 sends the changing current via voltage drops across the 10 milliohm shunt resistors, displaying results in real time. The gauges and graph also display the real time operating conditions and the results of starting, stopping, and then starting the motor again. Here you'll see a video close up of the three inline current sense amplifiers measuring the bidirectional currents entering and exiting the motor in each of the three phases. And finally, here's a screen capture of the three inline phase currents at 120 degrees apart. Thank you for your time.